Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Klaus, thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to be doing another Life Source War Recap against Furax Francois. I guess that's how you say that. It's a French clan, and we won near perfect total destruction. Now, again, we, we most of our wars, we win very, very well, and that's because we got a lot of awesome attackers in this clan. We also go up against a lot of Go Wipe clans, like a bunch of, bunch of clans that just the go wipe and that's a two-star strategy so let's go in let's watch a few attacks and uh and learn some things some three-star strategies here is a rushed town hall 10. i want to tell you guys right now do not rush your bases okay aladdin our number five is going to attack their number one mimirgin and uh he used his hog to draw the clan castle now this guy does have town hall nine looking defenses maybe town hall 10 it's hard to tell that looks like Town Hall 9 defenses though. He might be a brand new Town Hall 10, but he's still got Town Hall 8 and 7 walls. So this guy truly does not prioritize very well. He's got Inferno Towers, so I mean he's got that at least, next bows, but generally it's just a rush Town Hall 10. Not to take anything away from Aladdin's attack because it was still brilliant. Here is an Archer Queen. You get a level 10, a Town Hall 10 with a level 6 Archer Queen, you've got a problem. His, his Arch Queen, Aladdin's Arch Queen, going to take out the enemy Arch Queen, and then the release of the Hogs. He just, just sent them all in in one big line, kind of like uh, like the truth, the Legion of the of the Roman Empire. Just send them in, kill them, everybody, kill everybody. Um, <laughs> he'll spells uh, kind of placed where the Wizard Tower and the Inferno Towers were. Another one placed right in front of this Wizard Tower and this uh, giant bomb spot. Um, all uh, we got a few more hogs over here that should take out those defenses and now all of our heal spells have been used but I don't think it's gonna be a problem there's no more splash damage left the only things that might pose a threat are these Tesla's because they are they're ripping I mean all Tesla's high level like this look like a level 7 Tesla maybe level 8 they are very powerful but all the defenses have been dropped good attack from Aladdin now the rest is just gonna be clean up our our queen is still alive our king is still alive all the hogs are still alive once again a, uh, a reaching attack from aladdin our number five against their number one and um using hey look at that using some goblins to clean up some collectors that's always a good idea look at these guys they're so fast they're awesome and uh, coming through ooh, a double giant bomb outside of the base that is can be scary but it's probably the worst place you can put a double giant bomb on the outside of the base. You're really, you're really gambling if you put your double giant bomb on the outside because the, the odds of somebody deploying right there, minimal. Anyway, three star attack from Aladdin. Good job, buddy. Let's move on to the next attack. Okay, so we got Cell against William, and he's going to be using the Penta La Loon attack. This is good, a little variety for this video. The previous war recap was all hogs. So something a little different is going to be nice. And I have not previewed these attacks, but it looks like he's using his king to take out the queen. Oh, that's such a wonderful thing. If you're going to be designing a base, do not put your queen on the outside. That is like the keyest thing you can do. But the clan castle has been drawn out. Our king is dead and, you know, skeleton traps too. And I predict that he will draw over. He didn't really need to draw over the troops. So, but maybe you did and you saw something I didn't. Um, but using a barbarian, probably... One more, okay, poison spell, not worrying about the skeleton, and that double poison will take out that dragon and the wizards and such. So let's look at this base. Looks like we got some double giant bomb spots in the center, uh, but it doesn't matter. I'm so used to thinking about hogs <laughs> that uh, uh, he's gonna be using a, uh, an air attack. So let's watch this. I am less versed in these. I'm going to Town Hall 9 though, in case anybody missed that video, check it out, it's previous. And I'll be starting to be able to use those kind of attacks pretty soon. You got a golem dropped in the bottom side, so it's actually Quadrilla Loon. Um, four lava hounds and a, a golem. I'm gonna go in there, take out this air defense. Very, very smart. Um, funneling up toward this air defense here. The golem is drawing all the damage, so the Arch Queen can just get in there, take out that air defense, and then probably our lava hound will be released. There you go. So lava hound dropped from this, this top right side. And uh, it's going to draw all the damage from all those. We've got another Lava Hound being dropped on this side, drawing all those traps and the defenses. And then here's another Lava Hound going into the center, probably to deal with any traps that might come their way. And the Sweeper. And uh, that is actually all of the Lava Hounds. I must have missed one of the deployments, so I apologize for that. But if you saw it and I didn't, good job. <laughs> A balloon's coming in the backside. We take out 
all but one of the air defenses and we've got two lava hounds still alive um, the rest of the balloons dropped in from the backside there and their balloons are just gonna wreck the base uh, rage spell is gonna help them get through this little void before we get to the air defense um balloons max level balloons guys i love them i love them so much the last air defense has been dropped the last defenses themselves are over here on the left side lava pups are everywhere to clean up beautiful attack drop that bomb yeah all the defenses are down there's a uh, well you know what that's supposed to be <laughs> um <laughs> That's when you know you wreck a base and you get extra spells, right? I mean, you got to celebrate somehow. So there you go. All the, the town hall has been dropped. There's a two-star. We've got just a little bit of cleanup left to do. You've even got a golemite still alive just hanging out outside. There's a, there was a giant bomb right there. Terrible place for a giant bomb. And there is your last builder's hut. Three-star for sell on William. Probably cleanup attack since our, our, our guy was a higher rank. But either way... Awesome attack. I love watching air attacks. I'm going to really practice those a lot once I get to Town Hall 9. Alright, Town Hall 8 attack. Thonski's going against Lolo41. He's going to be doing a, a, a hog attack. Really the best strategy you got as a Town Hall 8 are hogs. Use your uh, hog to draw out the clan castle. He's not even going to bother with this little archer. He's going to take out the dragon. That's your main problem is the dragon. And, you know, if you drop it about there... Nope, he didn't. Okay. He could have gotten this other archer too, but I mean, one archer is not going to ruin your raid. The dragon will. So, uh, double poison. He's There's several. There's a double giant bomb spot right there. Uh, that's the only spot that I see that could be a double giant bomb. He'll probably deploy in a way that avoids. Look at that. He's starting on this side. That's really smart. Hopefully, he can avoid that spot, but if anything, he can heal spell it. Um, all of the... Actually, that's a Tesla. All right. Well, heal spells on the middle side, taking care of the, any kind of uh, giant bomb that might be in the area. All the hogs have been deployed. King's on this side, drawing the damage from this uh, cannon. And um, anything you can do with that uh, barbarian king to lure damage away from your hogs is a good idea. And it looks like that last heal will send in some free hogs up here to take out this cannon. The archer tower is gone. The cannon is down. And now all we have to do is clean up. This base was primed and ready for a hog attack. I mean, you had some clear paths. This is actually the base I attacked as well. I used his strategy. I just did it to practice, to, to kind of get a feel for when to drop heals and stuff. So good job, Thon. Thank you for the inspiration of my attack. Oh, giant bomb. Okay, well, it only took out maybe four or five hogs, so we're okay. Um, that was the third giant bomb. And as you can tell, I mean, predictable giant bomb placement. Placing. There's a Tesla right here, I think. Um... This base was very symmetrical, easy to path for, and um, predictable. What, what can I say? An anti-three-star base is going to be unpredictable, have a ton of giant bomb spots, and be very difficult to deal with. But Thon, three-star attack on their number eight. He was really reaching. He reached up four ranks to get that one. And uh, awesome attack, buddy. Good job. I'm going to attack a Town Hall 9, uh, Klaus on Mesa 3781, and um, I have never attacked a Town Hall 9 before, and I'm not going to give you the results of this attack, although this was a rough attack. I've never attacked a Town Hall 9 before. I don't have four heal spells, etc. But what I did do right was lure the clan castle. Everybody should know how to do that by now. Hog it in there, drop your poison, double poison for that dragon, or whatever's in there, and um, then you want to deal with this Archer Queen. And so I used the um, Goho. I've got one Golem, kind of just help tank some damage, take out that Archer Queen and uh, Wizards to clean up, drop your King or oh, some, some uh, Wall Breakers first, and then your King. The King should clutch, actually the Wizards clutch the Archer Queen there. Giant Bomb on the outside, still just a terrible idea. And um, the King is in there taken out hopefully he'll get that expo but now i've released the rest of my hogs in on this bottom side uh heal spell should be dropped in this area because of that spot that that hole right there is kind of intimidating there you go there's your heal spell the uh our king is still a oh our king is dead i forgot to use a special ability that's going to cost me a lot of uh, a, that's going to cost me a lot <laughs> but our hogs are just cascading through the base right now enemy king is still alive and that's probably a, not a good thing heal spell right around this wizard tower and a giant bomb so really good heal spell drop on my part i'm going to pat my back there and i'm out of heal spells if i had another heal spell i 
probably could do a little better on the raid, but all the defenses on this side are down. And we've got a, a two arch towers, a wizard tower, and an expo on this side. If I had a, another heal spell, I'd drop it right there, and it would heal those hogs, and it would come in and take out the rest of these defenses. But um, they were the, the hogs were taken out. All I've got left are a few. Is one wizard, 49%. Oh, skeletons are coming. Yes, 50%. All right. <laughs> and that is going to do it for the raid. So, guys, that was my first. I wanted to document my first attack on a Town Hall 9. I'm a Town Hall 8. So, I mean, it's not a surprise I didn't get three-star the base. But using golems, tanking some damage, um, the extra spell you get as a Town Hall 9, as well as, you know, some smarter deployment. I could have had that. I really could have. I believe it. So that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in. We uh, we did pretty good against Furex Francois. I'm, I'm assuming that's how you pronounce that. And uh, almost a perfect uh, perfect war. I think we missed out on yeah we had we missed out on two stars here, a one star here, and everybody oh and then one star there, and everybody else was three starred, as you can see. So a good war. And uh, good job, Life Source. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to watch some more Town Hall 8, Town Hall 9, three star strategies, this is where you're going to find them. And I'm going to Town Hall 9 as well. So we're going to be doing some personal Town Hall 9 strategies. I'm pretty excited about, really excited about that, guys. But once again, thanks for tuning in. Love you all. Check out our social media. Everything's down in the description box. Love you all. Peace.